Hello Seabird and welcome back to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker and today we are moving back to episode two. We defeated the Dragodon last episode in the second chapter of episode two, oh my gosh. And now we're moving on over to Farewell Pyropuff Peak with a little cutscene. What's going on with Toadette now? Oh boy, oh no, are we on top of the Dragodon? Oh we are, he is not happy. What is happening? Breathe fire, oh, look at this! Get out of here! We have controlled the beast, we have tamed him. Wait, how do I get rid of that? I guess I don't? I don't know, they're just going past him. Wait, am I supposed to do something about this? Except for, you know, just constantly breathe fire? I mean, this is, oh yeah, they just get destroyed. This is awesome! This is the best thing that's ever happened in a Mario game. <laughs> Toad is just riding on top, like I hope this turns out okay. Keep breathing fire, keep breathing fire. I mean, we seem to be, you know, like if we run into it, that seems to count just fine too. Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome! Oh yeah, indeed. Well, there we go. So we we have left Pyropuff Peak, and with it, can move on over to uh, Spin Wheel Cog Ruins. Okay, cool, level 10. So this actually looks quite intense, maybe a, a bit difficult to say the least. We'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Toda is ready, so I'm ready too. The first thing I noticed is that we can't move these on their own. But I can toss this at you. You don't seem to appreciate it very much. Uh, see, we can rotate these, but it's only these two that we're rotating. There's also a ladder down that way, I guess just in case we fall. It doesn't look like there's anything of use down here, if, at least initially. Uh, there's something down this way, of course, but that's from this way. So, I have a couple of things to figure out. First off, let's just try to get across, which seems to be the best way to do that is to do this. And there's like a number of ways to go. Um, well first, I wanna pull those. I wanna go this way. And I wanna get a diamond! Oh, that was not a good camera angle. <laughs> that was ba bad because of me. So let's just go ahead and grab some of these. Got it. And plenty of treasure, which remember, that's what we're supposed to be doing, is tracking down some treasure. So, pretty good stuff. But there's just a couple in these corners I wanna make sure I get them. Down over here, okay. Let's go back up. <laughs> you got it, Toadette. Climb, climb, climb. Now I just wanna make sure, actually, Going over this way, there's obviously a couple of things going on. And this is going to move these. Okay, that's not too surprising. I'm gonna worry about that later. I don't really need to do anything about it just yet. What I need to do is go back over this way so we can go around and get the uh, diamond. So, go ahead and do this. Thank you. So there's that diamond, and I could just plop down this way, but I don't want to just yet, because we can rotate this around again. I think get a, another diamond, our second. Just like... That, perfect. Okay, so leave me alone, sir. I got places to be. And this is the place, so diamond number two. And then I can plop down here, go like this. I mean, I guess initially I can get these coins. Then go back. Lots of options. Ooh, don't forget, don't forget. There is something down this way. Can I squeeze through there? A toad I can just barely squeeze through there. Oh, it's a gold mushroom. Hopefully that is our little quest. Is there anything down there? No. Okay, go on back up. And you need to rotate these a little more, don't you? Oh, I see. So, we're doing everything right, we just have to go around the long way now. Gotcha, no, leave these alone. Don't need to mess with that too much. Don't know where the third and final diamond is. So hopefully we can find that, so we can say that we do know where the third and final diamond is. Oh, probably somewhere with this pipe, because we could just go up those right now and get the uh, star which I don't want to do at the moment. I'm so sorry, Toadette. I didn't mean to do that. It was just bad timing on my part. Wait, oh, for a second, I thought we were just gonna fall to our doom. Not quite. Ooh, look at all these coins. Got a one up, that's good. Maybe one of these will be a mushroom. I'd be appreciating that. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. And then this one right here is mushroom. Thank you. Okay, got it. And he gave me my third and final diamond. So let's hope that the golden mushroom was what I was looking for. But if not, I have 121 coins, and that's pretty good. So, going back through this pipe, we'll try to zoom in a little bit if I can. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I made it, I made it, run to that run! And we can go ahead and get that star. I mean, I might wanna go this way first, just to check out what's going on around here. Not too much, just some extra coins, which I appreciate. All right, so, give me this star. We got 130 coins, three diamonds. What could've gone better? I don't know, we could've not have gotten hit, but that's a different story. Find the hidden gold mushroom, perfect. So we got that done on the first try. That's uncommon for us, and we can move on over to the Pixel Toad. The Pixel Toad's a little bit intimidating. Wow, we got a couple of levels unlocked there, cool. Well, we'll check out one at a time. But for right now, I'm worried about this one. 
So we're almost at 20 lives, which is pretty cool as well. I mean, we were struggling to gain lives much at all playing as Toad, but now as Toadette, we seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, I'm tossing this at that guy. So I'll be looking around for it, just how it is right now, before we get crazy with anything. The chances are very high he's on the backside of something, so if I were to you know, activate this and just start rotating it around and look on each side, ain't too much going on around that way. If we look around from this side, still not much of anything, which is good. That means there's one less thing I have to worry about. And the more we run around, the higher of a chance we'll find something. So everything is going well. I mean, he might even be in the backside of one of these dudes. One of these dudes moving back and forth. Or he might be down this pipe. There are so many options for little pixel toad. Yeah, you better be excited. You're so excited to be a jerk. Let's look around from this side. Doesn't look like anything for me. So what we need to do to progress the level is move that one. Okay, can we zoom back in? Ooh, go, go, go. Okay. Just gonna run this way now. Yeah, I really don't think it's down that way. It didn't look like it in the times I've peeked. And I've definitely looked around this way and haven't seen it. So I think it's gonna be through the, the purple pipe. Uh, Let's go ahead and do this then. Like to get through, we need to do this. So I guess I should have done this originally, but it's more like this one. Okay. Ooh, okay, we made it, we made it. Keep moving, Toadette, I don't want you to turn that wheel. Okay, so this is all correct. It's all fine and dandy. I'm thinking it has to be down that purple that purple pipe, the pixel toad. Pixel toad in a purple pipe. Cause I don't see it anywhere else. I haven't heard him, I haven't heard him make a peep. So he has to be down here, right? I would hope so. I, oh, I hear him. I definitely hear him. Where is he? Where is this dude? Maybe he's under one of these? Uh, Not quite. I heard him for a second. Where is he? He is super close by. Hmm. I'm thinking he's down here, but maybe not. Maybe he's like on your map. I don't see him whatsoever. I'm trying to like angle the camera so maybe I could see him one way or another, but. Oh, right there, right there, you little sneaky toad. Why are you so far over there? Oh man, that's crazy. But we found him, which is good. So there's a uh, spin wheel cog ruins totally completed. Move on to level 11 already. Wind upstairs where we have Spike. Ooh, cool. So, new enemy for us to deal with. And an interesting level scheme for sure. Oh, it's like a little music box. Wow, that's interesting. So let's run across like that and this way here. This is such a cool little level already, I like it. Okay, let's grab these coins. I see our first diamond over this way. Pretty easy to grab. Because it looks like I'm supposed to do this. And there's a couple ways I could go back up that way, which would lead all the way around. That seems like the way I'm supposed to go. But I mean, maybe not. Oh no, this way leads to a diamond, so I definitely want to do this one. Let's just let Spike's little thing go past us. Oh gosh, I need these coins, I'm greedy. There we go. So this shouldn't be too bad. Get these two coins, get that, and we are good. So that's diamond two out of three. Look, there's a the little spinny thing. You spin that up, and then you can let the, the music play. This is such a cool idea for a level, I love it. So now we gotta go up this way, grab these coins, and there's a couple things going on. I think I could just walk down that little chute, if I so please. But is that what I wanna do right away? There's no way I can get rid of this guy, is there? I mean, not from here. I see what I gotta do. But for right now, oh no, I can't go down that. Oh, okay, let's go back. I was doing this incorrectly. What you gotta do is go in this way, right? I'm inside the little music box section, right there. Okay, so that was just like a little preview, like hey, don't forget this. I thought you could slide down that, but not quite, that's okay. So we gotta be careful of this spike, we can't attack him, we can walk past him, because he's not the brightest, to be honest. He doesn't throw them at us, he just throws them constantly. But he's in the way between us and our goal, so we need to plop, and boom. There we go, awesome stuff. That was really easy. 
I mean, I don't know what the quest will be, but we did everything just about perfect. Oh, there's a hidden gold mushroom. So people were saying for the hidden gold mushrooms. Uh, whoa, what is that? We'll find out at the end of today's episode. That was weird. Um, for the hidden gold mushrooms, it won't make itself available unless you walk over directly. So I will have to go sort of like over every corner of the level and just really try to look for it this time. I mean, I could have maybe even walked over it already and I just hadn't noticed. I don't see like any entrances or anything over this way, so I think we're good. I mean, for being such a tiny level, you wouldn't think there's too much I missed, but I suppose there is? Yeah, I don't need that stuff as much. All I need is that golden mushroom, so wherever that might be. Hanging around here. Hmm. Oh, probably here. Okay, that's my guess. That is definitely my guess. So we're just gonna run that way in a moment. I might as well get some coins. If I could get another one up, that'd be awesome. But at the same time, chances are low, because I did not think I got 40 coins. I would need 50 coins. And then the mushroom would be a another 50. So I don't think it's worth going for. I think I should just keep moving. Okay. Well, we're, oh no, get me up there. I was gonna say we're almost there, but then it starts slowing down a little bit. Okay, so move past you real quick. It's gonna be right here, right? There it is, okay. So when you're looking for it, it's super simple. It's like, okay, it's right there, duh. And get these, cause why not? And plop on you, gotcha. Okay, so there's level done again, but with the golden mushroom found, it was so close. Switch I explored a tiny bit more. Would have been so simple. Okay, well there's that done, which means we can move on over to the pixel toad action. See what ends up happening. Okay. So this should turn out pretty well, right? I mean, it's such a small level. You would think that I'd be able to fight it without even having to move, essentially. Because there's not really too much in this level you can actually activate. So I would just want to look through and behind some obvious stuff. Oh, there he is. Found him already. Look, look at how easy that was. I mean, that is a little bit difficult because you need a very specific camera angle. But we got him. You got Pixel Toad. Cool stuff. So apparently with Pixel Toad, you were only originally able to do it, uh, like it was actually additional content added later on that you could only get through Amiibo, but now you just get it from the beginning, which is pretty cool. Uh, level 12, up and down terrace. This level looks fun. So beautiful and pretty. Reminds me of Mushroom Kingdom in Mario Odyssey. Let's hope it's like that. Okay, it's, it's not too much like that, but it looks cool. Okay, so what am I doing here? I could fall down from any side, and I guess I have to, don't I? So let's pull these guys up, because they are making some problems for me. And this is like some kind of weird hedge maze. Hmm. Oh wow, interesting. So, first off, we got diamond number two. We're getting two, uh, diamonds really quickly. So this button will switch things. What do you know? Oh, but when you press it once, you gotta find a different button if you wanna do it again. Oh, what about this door? Can I just open that? Will I have to do something special? Uh. I think I'll have to do something special then. Okay, so you're going to move, and then I'm just gonna keep you like that for a little bit. All right, gotcha. Oh, I just threw him off, how brutal. Okay, got it. Move, move, move. Yeah, okay. So I press that button, that switched everything around. I'm gonna try to uh, pull you up. That, that worked out pretty well. So this one's weird. So I don't exactly know how to get across there. I mean, I guess the smartest thing would be to not even do that, but instead get up and go around. And I guess that's what we'll try to do then. Hmm. I mean, I guess when we take care of all these bad guys, that's probably when, oh no, that, that's wrong though, I think. Looks like it. Oh, this is tricky. Hmm. Well, no, not quite. Maybe it is. <laughs> I'm a little on the fence about that. If I press this button, it doesn't really, I don't know, it changes this a little bit. I just gotta sneak by this button and not mess it up. Just like that. So you're gonna do your thing, and you're gonna pop back underground. Well, actually, no. Oh, this is so weird. Let's get up here, and maybe for destroying all these guys, I'm gonna assume that's what's gonna get us the door being open. It does not. But how do I get to this diamond? <laughs> It's so tricky. I don't understand. I mean, maybe I can fall from here to there. 
It really wouldn't change much, would it? Oh, that is weird. But also, what opens this door? This is quite the mystery so far. This one's like the trickiest one yet, like the tri trickiest level yet to figure out. Is there any way to get them both lifted at the same time? Oh, I see, so that is lifted. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so that is lifted when, ooh. Okay, so I can make sense of that. We just have to find a, get a, find a way to get over there or over here. No, 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 yeah, over there. So let's try this one more time. I'm gonna press this button. Got it. Go all the way back over. Well, that doesn't, no, no, that, that works, that works, right? Because then I can climb up like this. Go down, over, around, all that kind of stuff. Perfect, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to sort of take a look in this room, see if there's anything I can do. Like the star is right here, but then how do I get to the diamond? Because like it made a coin path as if like maybe there's, maybe there's like an invisible platform you just walk across. I don't think that's the case. But now I'm stuck. Oh, I can't, I can't move any further. So I gotta complete this now. What is with that third diamond? I don't know, it's weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I have to figure that out now. How in the world do you get it? Cleared using switches three times. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the booty regardless. So let me figure out this third diamond and then we'll figure out the switches and the pixel toad and we'll move on with that. You know what it is? I have figured it out. I have cracked the code. I've solved the puzzle. I know how to get this diamond. And you guys are gonna watch. And be like, oh, you probably already knew that. You're like, Zebra, it's so obvious. It's so obvious, Zebra. But now I know too. Oh gosh, watch out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is press this button, look towards him. Oh gosh, let's zoom in a little bit more. And then toss it. Yeah, we got it, all three diamonds. That was so simple. So now I gotta complete the level an additional time so that I can complete it again while using less switches. Because I've used more than three for sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to figure this out and I think I might have got it already. So what I gotta do is run down and hit this switch. And then I go down here, press that switch, go up, hit that switch and we're done. So that should be the uh, trio I'm looking for of everything to get done. So run this way, hit that switch, and that's one out of three. And then two out of three. Gotta be careful, this guy. He doesn't seem to be too much of an issue though, and then I can throw him on his friend. Yeah, and then three out of three are like this. Don't fall, thank you. And that should be it. We have solved the, the puzzle, which is pretty good. So boom, that is the special little achievement done. And that means we can move on to the next thing, which should be the, uh, Pixel Toad. So we got that check mark, that's awesome. And let's find this Pixel Toad. He could be just about anywhere. You wouldn't think it would be so bad for a level like this, but they always find a way now, don't they? But I don't think he's gonna be inside the little building. I think he's gonna be somewhere outside. So first off, uh, that's the most I can zoom out, huh? Okay, so I guess it might be worth my while to fall down here. And so you look on every, oh, I hear him already. Oh, he's close. Where is he? Oh, he's under here, got him. <laughs> Look at how easy that was, like 20 seconds flat. Got it. Okay, so that was very lucky that he was just happened to be hit behind that one. There's that level done, level 12, up and down terrace. And then we got level 13, clear pipe puzzle plex. And this might be the last level of the day. Whoa, this looks cool. It also looks very puzzling, which is concerning. But that's okay, that's the point of the game. Is it to be a puzzle? Whoa, look at this place. Look at the wonderful stars that are like in pipes as well. Wow, so I gotta be careful. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of fuzzies floating around. So, it depends on which direction we hold the analog stick, which way we go. I wanna go this way to get that, but there are two spikes in the way, so I can't quite do that one. So I might wanna go up, go to the right, go like this, and then fall down, and I'll get that one. And then if I could go down, I can go, yeah, yeah, down this way. And that'll lead up here. And then down this way. And then we gotta go up like that. And I gotta guess, I guess, I guess we could use that to go like this, and then down, and then left. And if we wanna go back around, we could, because we could get these extra coins, why not? I'm making this whole plan going on. And then we just follow this. And as you can see, those guys move around like that. Not too bad. Okay, so I, I think that 
that's gonna be my overall plan. And then we just have to go through that pipe at the very end. Okay, very cool, I think we can do this then. And hopefully we won't, we won't mess up with any of that. So first off, go this way, fall down, whee! Go back this way, and uh, might as well go through these little loops to make sure like, if there's extra coins we can get from them, it might be worth our while. So we can do that, and then go this way. And these little loops, we can practically go as many directions as we want for as long as we want, which is good. But for now, I need to go up this way, take a left. I mean, I've already gotten the first diamond, which is really good start. Get these extra coins up this way. But this is where things get tricky. I know what to do, though. I just need uh, timing to be on my side, which that was really good. And then we could actually just mine through these guys. How cool is that? Then go down this way. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. We gotta hold left, hold left, hold left. Good job, Toadette! That was amazing! Okay, so, oh, oh that, was, that was tricky. Got a little confused there. So, at this rate, the only thing we gotta do now is find the exit, which is gonna be down this way, to the right, and then to the right again. Then we gotta go down, and then forward. I'm not sure I get just like weird. Can, can't even really tell that when you're going around. Okay, so we got some extra 10 mushrooms there. Trying to time this correctly is going to be a pain in the butt. I think now's gonna be good. Okay, that worked. And then go down with them. And then bef besides getting this star, we actually need to move this way through this pipe, and then we're gonna go through it all again. <laughs> but it'll be worth it because we get the golden mushroom, which I'm pretty sure is what we need to complete it. So go back down like this. No, 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 I missed it. Oh, that was weird. Oh, that was really weird. Oh, no, 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 run, don't I run, or swim, or whatever you do in pipes. That was weird. I guess it was just a perspective issue. So now if we get hit, now we're on red alert because that's gonna be really bad if we get hit. Okay, so I'm gonna let this rotate one more time. Got it, and that should be okay. No, it's not really. Okay, now we're in sort of a bad loop. So I gotta figure this out again. Oh, that's not gonna be good either, is it? No, it's not, that's so tough. Okay, so that should be better. Yeah, that's much better, okay. A little bit risky, but we made it all the way to the end, and we get that star, and all three diamonds, and the golden mushroom. Oh my gosh, yeah. We did it. What a tough level. Clear pipe puzzle plex, collected 70 coins, we did 86, so no problemo. We just gotta do the pixel toad in this level, but is there anything else, or is the next chapter ahead? Is it, yes, yeah, the next chapter, which we'll worry about in the next episode, but for now, pixel toad time, and then we'll do whatever is to the left. Whatever that could possibly be. It might be something very difficult, but that's what's the fun part, is that we get to find out together. So, pixel toad, where may you be? I mean, I don't currently see him. So it makes me think he's gonna be at the end. So we're gonna try that for now. I mean, maybe he's just floating around in these pipes just like everybody else, you know? But I don't think that's the case. Oh no, oh gosh, this is weird. Go down like that and go forward. Yeah, just a weird perspective issue there. I don't quite see him. Why did I do that? <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Maybe if I go this way, I can look around a little bit. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Got him. Okay, that's all I was looking for. Not a bad one. You got Pixel Toad, which means we got one more thing to have to do, and it's whatever that mystery thing to the left was. I don't know, but we'll get to find out together. I think it was like weird mud dudes. Oh, no, the Mummy Toads. Mummy Me Maze. What is this? Mummy Me Maze, we're about to find out. Do we get to just play as a Mummy Toad? What is happening? 30 seconds. Start moving, Toadette. Oh gosh, it's like one of the Shadow Mario rounds. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, I love it though. Dodge a Piranha Plant, good job, good job. Okay, so I'll have to get some of this stuff later on. We only have 20 seconds as well. Oh, you're getting close too. Like there's no room for error at this rate. Come on, go, 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 go. Ooh, hey, what does this teleport bring me to? Over this way, mushroom, mushroom, and mushroom. That sounds beautiful, thank you. I still got a couple more coins to get this way. Come on, I gotta get the, the golden mushroom, got it. Come on, 
Come on! Oh, I almost got more. 296 coins. That's amazing. So that's going to be three one-ups, two extra lives through that. So that we're at 24 now. That was awesome, but super intense as well. Okay, very, very good. In the next episode, we'll be tackling on the trail of the great bird. Don't have to worry about it now. We will have to worry about it in the next episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Mummy so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.